We have a war against the Catholic lady across China, the most prominent Catholic layman in the world. Uh, Jimmy Lai will probably die in prison. Cardinal Zen, uh, a great statesman of the church, has one more trial left. And he's been really used as shining keys, shiny keys to distract us. So we look at him, but we don't look at the seven other bishops that have been disappeared and sent to black prison sites somewhere in China. We don't know where they are. Yeah, let's take a look at some of these these bishops that have disappeared. We don't know if they're alive. We we don't know if they're dead. Let me see if I can pull them up here. Nope, that's the actually that nope, that's not it. I'm looking at them now. So okay, you got a, you got a picture. Okay, I got them up now. So the first one I have on here is Cardinal Zen. We kind of know about him. We've talked about him. Um, for, also, if you watching want to see what we're looking at, isn't it? Is it free? The bishops freeourbishops.com freeourbishops.com sign our petition we're going to be giving our petition to secretary of state Perlin, but also to members of the house we're going to be calling on a house hoping the republicans will launch an investigation into what has happened to these these bishops um with the with the new, when new congress is the new congress is seated but you can look at them right now and taylor i want to say this that i don't like challenging the hierarchy of the church i don't like grading other people's homework Mm-hmm. But I think as the Catholic lady, this is also our homework. This is what we are to do. So although I do greatly feel disappointed by the hierarchy of the church's silence, um, I know that I don't want to contribute to scandal, but I think there comes a point where to ignore their silence is a greater scandal. And I can't imagine um, the obstacle to belief and faith and the kind of despair and hopelessness Faithful, faithful Catholics are feeling in China right now to see the hierarchy silent. I witnessed it firsthand in Iraq when I was traveling with the Peshmerga, when ISIS was eviscerating the first century Christian mm-hmm. communities in Iraq and a Catholic priest um, in, a, in a refugee camp uh, miles from where ISIS was waging a war with tears in his eyes said, why has the church in the West forgotten us? Mm-hmm. And, and I, I know that this is how the Catholics in China are feeling. So I think this is very important just to say the names of these bishops so we can turn the scandal, the stumbling block into a stepping stone so that they know that they're loved, that they're prayed for, and we think about them. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, uh, we got Cardinal Zen here. Uh, yes. Cardinal Joseph Zen. Of course, he's highly ranking. And it's it's kind of sad that he just hasn't received the attention at the Vatican that I that we all kind of think that he he should. I mean, he's the Cardinal of China. He should have an input, but... There he is. He's persecuted. And maybe I've missed it, but has Pope Francis come out since he was found guilty? Zen was found guilty. Has there been, as the Secretary of State, Cardinal Perlin, are there any updates from the Holy See? No. In fact, none that we can find, none that we have read. We you know, we know that when Cardinal Zen uh, found time to escape uh, the prison camp that is the CCP-controlled Hong Kong, uh, he was ignored. Uh, Sarando found time to meet with organ harvesters from the CCP, but there could be no time found to meet with Cardinal Zen. And to me, this is this is quite heartbreaking. It's wicked. It's wicked. Yeah. All right. Well, you're much better with the uh, the Chinese pronunciation. I did spend a summer in China studying Chinese, but that was a long time ago. So you're going to do a much better better job uh, pronouncing the names here. So the next one I have. The odds are failure, Taylor Marshall. But let's go to Bishop Julius Julius Jiguo. Okay, uh, Bishop find him. Julius. This man is what a bishop should be. He ran an orphanage. He cared for orphans and disabled children for over 30 years. Um, he was disappeared for doing what? Well, what are bishops? What is the job of the bishops? They have really two fundamental jobs: uh, religious education and the sacraments. As I understand it, well, yeah. he was he govern, was dis- teach, and sanctify is the traditional thing that to govern the church, sanctify the church through the sacraments, and teach the church through preaching and education. Well, you know, the first one would be quite the offense to the CCP. Oh, of course, quite the offense. And um, but what he was disappeared for was he stop he failed to stop giving the sacraments to children. Mm. Part of the secret deal brokered by disgraced former Cardinal McCarrick Mm. uh, was that children under 18 would not receive the sacraments or religious education. And um, so he was disappeared for giving the sacraments to disabled and orphan children and to continuing continuing on with their 
religious, religious education. I mean, this is really quite heartbreaking yeah. to think this is such a great and wonderful and honorable bishop truly living a, 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 the life of a saint. And he's disappeared for doing what it is he was ordained to do. Yeah. And this is the bishop in the purple chasuble? Yes. In the picture? Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Well, just, people don't understand. In, in China, if you're under 18, as I understand it, you're not allowed. Is that right? Yes, you are not allowed to and, receive and a sacrament. And Pope Francis is is given the handshake on this? Yeah. I, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, if you look at all of their faces, you know, what I'd like to bring attention to is is Bishop Melchior. Um, okay. We'll is Pope. he on here? Yes. He's got the great... Uh, he looks like my father. My wife's Chinese. He kind of... He looks like a gung gung. Oh yeah, I found him. Here he is. Chinese grandpa. Yes. And um, we've recently been told that you know he's been under house arrest and been disappeared. Um, the rumors were in October that he had been killed or died in prison, but we we don't know. Wow. Then you see Bishop Zhang Wai Zhu. Bishop Zhang Wai Zhu was not only disappeared, every seminarian and ten priests under him. They were all disappeared at the same time. So imagine in, in one uh, political district, every seminarian was vanished. Ten priests and the bishop. And yet the hierarchy of the church is absolutely silent on this. Latin, and we're going to pray for our bishops that we discussed today and put them on the screen. Um, and why don't we, before we do that, will you, do you have the names in front of you? I on do. On phone or? I will. I'll pull them up. Or I can I can get them. I got them right here. I'm going to say their names, and then uh, we'll pray the Hail Mary for them. So we have Bishop Cardinal Joseph Zen, Bishop Joseph Zhang Weizhu, Bishop Julius Jia Zhigao, Bishop Peter Xiao Zumin, Bishop Melchior Shi Hongzhen, Bishop Augustin Kui Tai. Did I miss I think those are the ones we sent you. Okay, very good. All right, well, let's pray the... The Hail Mary uh, for these bishops, and I'll put it on the screen. Oremus nomine patris et fidi, spiritus sancti, amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in molieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, or pronobis peccatoribus, nunc et et or mortis nostrae, amen.